Hello and welcome to the Cancun versus Punta Cana video. My name is Jana and you're watching Curves on the Road. If you're planning your trip to Caribbean, you have probably asked yourself a question, which island or which part of Caribbean to go to to have the best time of your life. So I have made a video about comparing Punta Cana and Cancun because those are the two destinations I've already been to, so I have personal experience. So let's dive right into it. First of all, let's talk about budget. The budget, if it's the only criterion for you, I would say Punta Cana is almost half the price that you would pay for Cancun. It is definitely the hotel, the resorts, the price tag for similar kind of services, three quarters to half the price in Punta Cana. So if you're planning to stay in an all-inclusive resort, not leaving whatsoever during your whole stay, I would definitely go with Punta Cana. I wouldn't talk about language because that's the same both in Mexico and in Dominican Republic. You will need some Spanish to get around. I speak almost zero Spanish, but um, I'm really sorry for that. I'm learning Portuguese. I can't learn all the languages of the world, guys. But like some por favor, some gracias will get you at least to the polite side with the locals. Also, the distance, I believe, from other parts of the world are basically the same. The flight will be around two, three hours. Well, depends on what part of the world you're going from. So that, I don't think, is that important. If you want some attractions, well, then there are some differences. If you just want to snorkel, go for some boat ride, swimming in the islands, and maybe do some adrenaline sports, also some ecological parks and some animal encounters, I would say those two countries are fairly similar. But if you're into history like me, then I think Mexico takes the cake here because you have Chichen Itza, which is absolutely stunning. The pyramid is just breathtaking. It's one of the wonders of the world, UNESCO side. So it's very special and it's close to Cancun. So you can do a daily trip there and it's, it's, it's really wonderful. I, I highly recommend doing that. So if you're into history, this one goes to Cancun. If you're not into the resort and you want to leave for the nightlife or you want to explore the surroundings, again, Cancun is, let's say, a little bit more polished or more organized and more tourist ready than Punta Cana. Punta Cana center, there's nothing literally, just a few urban houses and then, of course, the center with Coco Bongo and Hard Rock Cafe. Those things, basically, those locations have very, very similar. When it comes to resorts, I would say it's very, very similar. The services are on similar level. Here in Punta Cana, it feels like the resorts are on the bigger size. You know, you get more of the big resorts, but I'm pretty sure if you want a compact resort and you do your, do your research, you'll find that here as well. When it comes to the sea at the beach of the hotel, again, I've been just to one hotel here. So for me, the beach was a little bit better in Cancun, but it can depend on the season and also on the current condition of the winds and the rain, etc. Food. Before I came, I would say like, oh, nothing will beat Mexican food. Mexican is the go-to, Mexican is the thing. But now that I tried Dominican food, especially mofongo, 
I'm not that 100% sure. Mofongo, something I've never tasted before. If you're wondering what it is, it's basically mashed plantain with the pork cracklings. Boy, like I never thought that would work so well as it did. And they give you some garlic sauce and you pour it over. Oh, yummy. Also, the cuisines are fairly similar, you know. You still have your nachos here. You still have rice, beans, quesadillas, you name it, you have it here. So the cuisine is definitely inspired by Mexico as well. I would say try both. If you can do just one, it depends on your preferences. If you want something more exo exotic that you probably can get at home, go for Dominican. If you are a classic person and you want your Mexican, then Mexican it is for you. Safety. Uh, here's the deal. I don't know. In Mexico, we did all the tours with a tour guide and we didn't leave the touristic spots. While in Dominicana, we rented a car and we went through Santo Domingo on our own. So we got to see even the parts of the city a tourist probably should not be seeing. So I felt safer in Cancun. Again, just a personal feeling because we did a different kind of things. One more point that I definitely have to give to Punta Cana is the animals. I mean, here in the hotel we have the flamingos that are gorgeous and you can come take pictures and chill around. So at that point, if you're an animal lover, you'll probably get more fun here in Punta Cana. But like we've been to Eshkare in uh, Cancun or near Cancun and that one was superb as well and you got to see the wildlife as well. And of course the biggest decision that you have to make is do you prefer rum or are you more into tequila? Sugarcane or agave that's a big decision i think that one can play a crucial role if you like your cocktails is it margarita or cuba libre if you're asking my opinion i'm more of a cuba libre girl so this one for me goes to punta cana okay guys moment of truth we have cuba libre and margarita which one will win the taste test? Let's see. Hmm, I don't understand the salt, frankly. Tell me somebody please down in comments as why the salt. For me, it starts tasting like soup. The rest of the content, last time I had margarita, it was not sweet enough for me to like. This one is sweet. So I'm actually on board. Not bad at all, but the salt? Tell me. And now Cuba Libre. Honestly, if you love Coca-Cola, you will love Cuba Libre. It's more about the Coke than the rum most of the time. And I think if you have expensive, good rum, you probably shouldn't put it in the coke but yeah both of these cocktails have something to it i think to mess up cuba libre you you would have to be like very lousy bartender to mess up margarita there might be a little more to it also different bartenders different recipe and if it was the frozen one you know with the slushy i think it might win like this i'm probably sticking with the good old cuba libre cheers if the budget is the only decision making then Punta Cana is your choice. If you want more luxury and maybe more exploring, because Mexico is obviously bigger, then maybe go for Mexico. It's absolutely personal preference. Can you please leave me down in comments which one would you choose or which one you did choose for your holidays and why? Thank you very much. So that's it. 
that's the whole video i hope you enjoyed it if you did why don't you give me a comparing thumb up and you can subscribe to my channel i upload every sunday thank you very much for watching have an amazing rest of your day and bye